Hey everybody, good morning again. My words, my opinion. I just saw something and everybody, you know, out there on the Silicon Valley bank collapse, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a banking genius or anything. I personally am not worried. <laughs> uh, it seems that most of the problems there was based on uh, the bank's investments of their funds. And then with the rising interest rate and bonds dropping or, or whatnot, people, People were keeping more than two hundred fifty thousand in a bank. I'm, <laughs> if I had two hundred fifty thousand dollars, I would not keep it in a bank. You know, earning minimal interest. I know the market's bad right now, but the bank is nowhere. It's unsafe. If you got more than two hundred fifty thousand, every dollar over that is not protected by the FDIC. So my understanding of what occurred there is that this bank, the Silicon Valley Bank, had wealthy investors, venture capitalist money, all kinds of investment money. And because of, I like to say, the feds, you know, keep jacking up the rates, even though there's no effect, they think it's going to work. And like I say, I don't think it's real inflation. So anyway, so because of that, you know, a lot of the customers were getting kind of worried about all their money over 250000 which wasn't insured. So they were going and getting this money. Well, because of that, the banks had to sell their, their bonds that were already devalued. So they're losing money, but they got to sell the, the bonds so they can cover the depositors taking their money. All right. So that kind of is what hit the fan. I don't think most of Americans are keeping $250,000 in a bank. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, there's a lot of secure, you know, things out there that you can put um, insurance industries, you know, you generally get a fair rate of return safe that's not at risk. So I don't think the majority of us have to worry that other banks, you know, because most people, I'm not going to go and take, I, now don't get me wrong, I keep a couple of bucks, you know, in my house. That doesn't mean come rob me. I mean, I don't have, a, it's not a lot. <laughs> okay. It's not worth your, your risk of going to prison or getting shot coming to my house. But I'm saying I keep a few hundred dollars, you know, just cash, but I don't use cash. I put everything on a credit card, but I pay my credit card off like three times a month, but I get protection and I get my 1.5% back, you know, so, but um, could be wrong. You know, I mean, if the feds keep raising rates, it's going to keep hurting people. I mean, people, you know, our industry. You know, who wants to, you know, if you now you're going to pay like six, six percent. And if that's if you got great credit, you know, so I wish the feds would slow it down. But like I say, if you're concerned about Silicon Valley, the problem we have here is fear. So those people at Silicon Valley Bank that had under 250,000 FDIC insured, they said Monday their money is available. That's why you keep a couple of hundred bucks around in your credit cards. And you're not going to miss, I mean, I don't go to my bank to, you know, take out money that much. I use credit cards when I go out to dinner and things like that. So I don't think there's going to be a run. The FDIC is covering everybody under $250,000 like two days and it was a weekend. So they probably could have done it quicker. But uh, the fear here is the problem. If people start thinking that that, Bank over in Silicon Valley, where probably per capita millionaires, you know, reside, is going to start some type of domino effect. I don't think so. But if you're concerned about it, then, yeah, you need to really keep an eye on it and watch things. But uh, I don't think it's safe if you got more than $250,000 to go grab it and put it in your, you know, your mattress. Okay. <laughs> like I say, um, this, this is the effects of what the feds are doing. OK, by raising the the uh, the prime, it's not it's not helping anybody. It's not like I say, it's not slowing. You know, people still got to eat their same food, you know, and things like that. Nobody's nobody's got more disposable income now, you know, which is so inflation isn't being caused by economic. Um, rising on the masses, you know, we're not getting an extra dollar going out buying things and then causing increase you know, the value because the demand is up. It's not happening. So I hope this wakes up the feds. I hope they get their head out of there, you know, what, and start seeing what's what. But, uh, yeah, 
it's it's scaring a lot of people. I don't have two hundred fifty thousand dollars in the bank, so I'm not I'm not worried. Um, you know, these things come around periodically, and I always wondered like it always seemed strange that a company stock goes down, even though they've got mega billions of dollars of cash online. And then they turn around and do a buyback. I don't know. I, you know, you can't say this is uh, designed by these corporations, but it just seems kind of weird, you know, that for some reason their stocks take a good drop, even though they're cash heavy, and then they buy them back. Is it planned? I don't know. I don't trust big banks. They don't play. They don't play for the little guy. Okay, and when I say bank, I mean the whole financial institutions. Okay, but. Uh, uh, you know, it's just something. What do you think? Do you think Silicon Valley Bank is going to be the domino that starts some type of banking collapse? I don't I don't see one bank. I mean, it's not a national bank. It's just a bank catering to millionaires, uh, venture capitalists, and companies that have um, money from venture capitalists. Okay, everybody. Um, I, I know all those banking people out there. You know, you come back at me. I mean... Those people with a ton of money, do you keep more than $250,000 in a bank account? Just curious. I, you know, I wish I could afford to. I wish I did have 250000 in a bank account. It wouldn't be there that long, though. All right. All my best people. Just throwing that out there real quick because I, I'm, I'm concerned that, yeah, you know, you can cause a, it could be a domino effect here. If people, you know, believe it, if they believe that this is the first domino to fall, you could have people running out there and taking things out of the bank account. But I'm just saying, the FDIC protects you up to $250,000, and they reacted on Silicon Valley Bank very quickly. So those with people under $250,000, their money is going to be there uh, Monday. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Um, hit the like button. Like I say, this is a discussion. You know, these are uh, Silicon Valley is, I think it's probably scaring a few people out there. Uh, so what do you think? I mean, all you moneyed people out there, people, <laughs> tell me what you think. If there's anybody with over 250000 sitting at a bank account checking or savings, um, you don't have to identify yourself. Or we don't want people to know that you've got <laughs> what you got. All right. Thanks, everybody. And, and have a great day. I really appreciate you. Um, a little wet and muddy out, but I think I'll take uh, Roxy out for a walk or a run or a hike, one of the three. All right, everybody have a great day. Thanks.